know shit that I know, and you're all shit, and you don't know shit that I know, and you're all shit, and you don't know shit that I know, and you're all shit, and if you're the princess, then we're the frogs. Hello, this is Chris Maynard from CMI VFX, and today I'm going to be taking you through a 2D to 3D map painting extravaganza, if you will, and the idea behind this video tutorial is to do a couple different projects in which we are going to take two-dimensional imagery and turn them into a 3D scene. Now, you can see here from my first image, it's a high-resolution still of Australia, and what we want to do is teach you how to break that image down into subparts, as you can see. I've already done this once and do image restoration behind these parts. So if you look carefully uh, right here, you'll see that there is some imagery, imagery here that allows for some parallax and there's some overlap. If you see that I have gone ahead and painted behind some of these other areas. Now the reason why we do this, if you can see here toggling on and off right here. If I turn this off again, you can see that I paint restored this behind here. So if we move the camera in parallax left, right, or in Z depth, you actually don't have that white space popping up behind it inside of your three-dimensional scenes. Now today we're going to be using Cinema 4D and Clarice to do some of the work and we're going to be doing a combination of speed tree for one of our other scenes but, but first let me explain uh, the rest of this scene here. We're going to show you how to break this up and also make fake reflections. You can see here I've gone ahead and made some preliminary black and white reflection maps and this area where the white is will show up as glass and reflectivity. To better demonstrate that you can see here inside of this uh, quick little model that I've made, you can see that there is in fact a reflection going on. And that is basically one way to help the realism of a 2D to 3D scene to make it look a little bit more professional. And if we look at our other images, uh, I created a matte painting pretty quickly using some Photoshop techniques. And I've also restored this stuff behind. So if I turn off uh, certain layers, you can see that behind this main area, we have some paint restoration done. And I'm going to show you how to do that so we can have the parallax that we need. And also how to do panoramas from different stills. Now, you can see that this is a giant image, huge in fact. If you see, I can zoom in all the way to this point and you still, we have the resolution necessary to uh, pan and, and stuff like that. Now, I created this uh, from different photographs in New York City, and you can see here, these are the stills that I used in order to make that giant panor panorama, but I had to build subparts. So I had to create uh, three different images here, two images there, three right here, and another two right here. So when we combine them, they actually look like this. Now, we're going to talk about that also, and just to go over briefly uh, the other scene, let me go ahead and open up Winter Sky. You'll see here that we have basically a three-dimensional scene with projections, and this is going to give us that really cool look. And we can also export these pieces of geometry into Clarice, and inside the Clarice we could actually show you how to uh, build a scene. Now, if I look in the 3D view, you can see here, I've got snow, uh, fog, or these are actually interesting things inside of the new Clarice 2.0. And besides having the fog and the snow, of course, I have the projections and even I have real live 3D model trees that you can see here. Now, if I went to the uh, individual tree, you can see that each one of them is represented. Oh, I had them turned off. But if I went to turn these on, you can see here that the trees are in fact inside of the scene. Let me just go ahead and turn these to visible. And now you can see that we actually have uh, moving alembic trees that we're going to use inside of our live scene. So uh, let's go ahead and get started by assembling our first scene. And I hope you enjoy it. Shit, and you don't know 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 shit,